Hi, everybody. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks to all the people that are in the audience for your interest in this issue and coming. Uh, today, we're, uh, we discuss how innovation is making our lives better and the role that our system of intellectual property protection plays in fostering that innovation. We will explore how the United States intellectual property system is supporting innovation and in the process helping to save lives, feed the world, and change the way that we interact with technology. We'll also hear from innovators and law enforcement about the nature and scope of some of the challenges that uh, IP intensive industries face in enforcing intellectual property rights. All around us, every single day, innovators and creators are making our lives healthier, safer, and more productive. Mobile phone technology that helps stop counterfeit drugs from hurting customers. Uh, an agricultural platform that incorporates data from drones and sensors to improve crop yields and reduce the need for pesticides. A company developing curved, bendable, and flexible OLED displays that uh, hold the potential to revolutionize consumer products. And lastly, advances in data, science, technology, that hold the potential to unlock cures for cancer. As a society, we depend on innovators like these to make our lives better and solve the challenges we face. And these innovators depend on different forms of IP protections, such as patents, trademark, copyrights, and trade secrets to help drive and recoup investment. This certainly was the goal of our founding fathers who recognized nearly 230 years ago the importance that intellectual property would hold in promoting innovation when they made provisions for its promotion and protection in our Constitution. The Constitution empowers Congress to, quote, promote the progress of science and useful arts by securing for limited times to authors and inventors the exclusive right to their respective writings and discoveries, end of quote. With those words, the founders set a course for the United States to become uniquely productive and innovative in the history of mankind. Of course, it should be noted that innovation not only directly benefits society through creative output of innovators, but through the enormous economic impact it has upon our economy. IP is more critical than ever to modern innovation uh, economy. As the U.S. Chamber Global Intellectual Property Center recently pointed out, IP intensive industries employ over 40 million Americans, account for 34, almost 35 percent of total U.S. GDP, Iowa alone accounted for 11 and two tenths billion dollars in annual IP related exports for the state, a total of 667,000 uh, IP related jobs and 19, almost 20% higher wages for direct IP workers than non IP workers. However, all of these successes come with challenges. Intellectual property theft and patent and copyright infringements continue to be a challenge for our country and around the world as well. As co-chair co of the Congressional Trademark Caucus, and my friend here on my left the other co-chair, uh, we, uh, and we, will, we launched, relaunched that yesterday, I recognize the value of trademarks and their impact on society and the economy, as well as how counterfeiting can seriously impact consumer health and safety. Counterfeiting of goods presents a worldwide problem with enormous health and economic impacts, costing the global economy over two and a half million jobs per year while draining tax revenue and hurting the ability of American companies to compete in those foreign markets. Similarly, trade secret thefts is an increasingly serious problem 
which is why the Congress passed the Defend Trade Secrets Act last year. A report by the IP Commission found that annual losses due to trade secret thefts are over $300 billion and is the cause of an estimated loss of two and one-tenth million American jobs. Today's witnesses include the National Intellectual Property Rights Coordination Center, which stands at the forefront of the U.S. government's response to global IP theft and enforcement of international trade laws. Uh, that group will share their experience with the challenges of enforcing intellectual property rights. I'd like to uh, note that I'm particularly pleased that we have that we'll be hearing from two companies that are recipients of U.S. Patent and Trademark Office's Patents for Humanity Award. Senator Leahy and I today have reintroduced the Patents for Human Humanity Program Improvement Act to encourage and reward companies that innovate and use patented technology to address humanitarian needs. Our bill improves the incentives for small businesses to participate in PTO's programs. So I'm pleased to have, as we do, a representative of uh, uh, DuPont uh, Pioneer and Sproxel uh, here to testify about how their award-winning inventions have helped individuals and communities in need across the globe. As many of you know, tomorrow, April 26, marks the World Intellectual Property Day a day on which we recognize the importance of intellectual property rights as a fundamental driver of innovation. This World IP Day, it is important to once again recognize the significance of our nation's robust system of intellectual property protection and enforcement and the necessity for greater protection around the globe. So I'm pleased that we have an excellent panel with us of witnesses from industry and government uh, today, and I look forward to hearing their testimony. And now Senator Coons can speak for uh, as long as you want.